Hi, Digimon Con. I think overall, it was still a fun experience. I am happy that there is still somewhat of a focus on announcing new things for the franchise. I really am happy that this isn't something that they just decided like, you know what, we're not going to do this anymore. I feel like they have tried their best to address a lot of concerns and criticism. And overall, this year, I really did like it. They announced some really, really cool things. So let's just go over the smaller things. First things first, we're going to have three different concurrent Digimon manga series happening at the same time, which is kind of nuts. Digimon Liberator, the new card game focused manga, is going to get a novel. And they're both going to be running at the same time, which is, again, very interesting. We were told to be very patient with game news so i don't know what's happening with that game that's another video that we can make entirely but we got a lot of cool toy announcements and that's always my favorite thing so that's what we're going to be talking about right now and i will also be letting you know where you can get these and that's going to be on the sponsor of this video which is of course zen and tcg more details on that to come let's just start with the biggest piece of news in my opinion and that is the digivice version 25th i don't know what the exact name of it is it's kind of a mouthful but it's essentially the 25th anniversary version of the digivice and it's literally everything that i have personally wanted from these digivice toys since they started making super csa devices since the version 15th of the digivice toy that released back 10 years ago now for the 15th anniversary it's pretty much like the classic digivice but with a couple more add-ons first of all a color screen which is wow immaculate i love it they're reusing a lot of the vital brace sprites which i'm kind of half and half on i do really love the vital brace sprites at the same time i kind of think it would have been cool if they would have gotten newer sprites i know there's a newer sprite for omnimon and that one looks super sick so i just wonder like you know how everyone else would look. You get to walk around with your Digivite, with your Digimon partner that you get to choose, just like the classic one, but it also shows the Tamer partner as well. So, you know, you have Ty, Mimi, Joe, etc. All the cast from the OG, and you go throughout the adventure of what I assume is only the first season. That's the only thing about this device that I haven't seen elaborated on yet, and it's how far this device is gonna go. But it worries me that, I mean, let's all be real here, they're most likely going to make another version that's going to go through the rest of the season if this device does not have the ability to do that from the jump. The biggest thing about it is that it does actually have the prongs at the top, and it is compatible with not only the, the Digimon colors, but the Pendulum colors that are coming in very soon, which is very exciting. So if you do have a newer collection of the color devices, this is still compatible with that. Very much like back in the day where we had the brick devices, then we had the pendulums, then we got the digivice, and the digivice was compatible with all previous devices. This is like that. Now, if this is anything like the other color devices, keep in mind that it is not going to be compatible with the original devices, like your classic black and white V-Pets, even your more modern black and white V-Pets, and even something like this, it most likely won't be compatible with, which is a bit of a bummer. It's a little bit of a shame, but at least it's compatible with the other color devices and i'm not i wouldn't be too terribly surprised if connecting to those unlocks some kind of easter egg on the actual device itself it does still use shaking as a means to walk around there is going to be a full adventure mode which is a lot of fun you shake it to attack now instead of pressing the a button like on the classic device which i think is kind of interesting there's going to be extra mini games on top of just the adventure mode which i think is gonna be a lot of fun the cherry on top in my opinion is the fact that it's also on top of all these other also's it's going to be able to light up in different led colors for the different evolution sequences and also play a like recreation of that evolution animation just like the super csa devices again it's literally like a perfect device and the coolest thing about it in my opinion is that the price is not that bad it's around the same price as this when it came out which is crazy to think about that's a really good price now it's only gonna be available on premium bandai so if you want to know how to purchase these that's where our sponsor of the video comes in and that is zen and tcg zen and tcg is if you haven't heard me talk about them before they're the one-stop shop for any digimon and other anime good needs they are my go-to for getting devices like this for getting things digimon related for getting pre-orders the 25th digivice color will be on zen tcg's website not just the normal blue variant but also the clear orange and blue versions that are the deluxe version those are all going to be on the website the Digimon X Osmaria edition is also going to be up on there. They are also selling a Zen and TCG V-Pet case. This is going to be an acrylic manufactured V-Pet case 
for your Digimon brick v pet. It's got a snap lock, it's got frosted bumpers, it's got a nice hard shell for protecting your Digimon V-Pets. So if you do want to nab any of those and anything that I mentioned today in today's video, make sure you check out the links in the description down below. Thanks again for sponsoring the video, and we're going to go right back into it. So the last big news that we got from Digimon Con is going to be the Digimon X Osmaria edition. So I'm really happy that they did this. So last year for Digimon Con, if you did not know, they made a Kenji Watanabe art version of the Digimon 20th. So it was just two versions of the 20th with Kenji Watanabe's art on it. There was a new Maimon version, which is one I purchased, and a War Greymon, or sorry, Metal Greymon variant. Doing that again with the Digimon X. So Osmaria is the artist that did all of the X designs, and their art is on full display on these devices. It's gorgeous. I'm assuming it's just the version one, white and blue and black and red versions. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all they announced. Overall, I do think that Digimon needs to really focus on the gaming aspect. I, I think it's kind of crazy that we've gone so long without a new game. And especially with everything that happened that we know of now, where Habu is no longer the main producer of Digimon games and was let go or left sometime around this time last year there doesn't seem to be any new person in charge that like is kind of almost a spokesperson to this it just seems right now everything's kind of like up in the air with digimon games we've had this story game in development since about 2016 at the earliest and there's still nothing to show not even a logo like there's no art at all like there's just something very off about that other than that and other than the fact that they didn't announce a new anime, which I think was kind of surprising, I was really expecting them to announce some kind of new anime project. Other than those two things, everything else got some kind of big announcement. And I feel like, you know, there are other places to announce a new game and to announce a new anime. And I think if it's going to happen, it's going to happen soon. We're still very early in the year. And I really do think that we're going to get a new anime this year. And I really do think we're going to get something on that game this year, other than the fact that they're working on it. I think we're going to get some kind of big news about that. Hopefully. If not, then that game's cooked. I'm sorry. We just got to let that go. One last thing that I would like to say. I want to give a nice salute to the Digimon Vital Brace. It's going to live forever in our hearts. I think it's officially done. They didn't announce anything at all. Digimon Seekers is officially over. And I think that was like the last hurrah for the Vital Brace that be. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think it's kind of poetic in a way. It's like poetry. It rhymes. That, you know, we started this journey with a Pulsemon Dim, and we're ending this journey with a Pulsemon Dim. It's kind of sad that it ended in a whimper the way it did, but overall, I still think it's one of the funnest devices we've ever gotten. And I really do hope we get another retail Digimon something in the near future, hopefully this year. Make sure you check out the YouTube Shorts. I upload there pretty regularly, and we show off what we're doing uh, and what we're raising. So thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to my patrons for continuing to support the channel. I'm very sorry for the long, silent treatment. I, I needed some time and I feel a lot more energized. I feel a lot more optimistic about the future of just in general, not just Digimon, but just like everything. This I, I'm looking very forward to this year. Uh, so look forward to more videos coming up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Thank you to get me to 15k. We will be doing the blind Digimon World 1 stream. Don't worry, I didn't forget about that. I want to make sure that I get the channel back up and running so that as much people can kind of participate in that when we do that. I'll see you when I see you. Peace!